Hello humans, I'm the Alien Doctor, but you can call me Alien, and let's just cut right into the tutorial for this, because you probably want to see this one. This is a really amazing thing that I didn't realise existed, but basically there's a secret Bedrock spectator game mode inside of Bedrock Edition. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to show you how to activate it. Now, a couple of things to note is that you are going to need to be doing this. Well, I'm going to be showing you how to do it on Windows 10. I'm pretty sure you could do it on mobile as well, assuming that you can find a world editing program that supports it. It shouldn't be too hard to find. But yeah, I'll be doing this on Windows 10. If you are using it on a console, then you can always try using a realm to convert your world over to a computer. You might have to borrow a computer or something. I don't know, but I'm just going to be showing you how to do it on Windows 10. So yeah, this is a full blown spectator mode, which means you can go through blocks. You can you're invisible to mobs as well. So like if I were to summon a skeleton or cheats are off. Yeah, this works with cheats, by the way. But if I was to summon in a skeleton and we are just going to turn cheats on, I decided to do a creeper instead. But if we summon a creeper, it literally won't blow up. Now, I will talk a little bit later about being able to hit mobs because I do have a solution to fix this. Uh, so yeah, make sure to watch until the entire end of the video to make sure how to stop you from being able to mine stuff and attack mobs because that is one of the slight problems with the spectator mode. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a super good spectator mode that works. It's not an add-on, it is a vanilla feature that you just need to activate using World Edit. So this video is going to be split up in three segments. The first segment is this one where I'm just talking to you about it. It's sort of like an intro slash overview type thing. The next one is going to be the tutorial and then the next one is going to be how to fix some issues with this to make it feel like it's properly full on spectator mode. So yeah, I'm going to get into that right now. Make sure you do watch the entire video though, because there is a lot of important information. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually exit Minecraft completely. We aren't going to need the game at all. And for the purpose of this, I will create a new world just to show you. So you can have the world on whatever uh, settings you like. It doesn't have to be on any specific settings. You could be on survival, creative, difficulty, whatever. You don't even have to have cheats on if you don't want to. I'm going to leave cheats off and I'm just going to leave well, all this is the default. As you can see, there's no resource packs or behavior packs, uh, like connected, is connected the right word? Whatever, just on this world. There's no, none of that. Uh, and the seed doesn't matter. Once again, sim distance, literally none of this matters. Uh, we're just going to go hit create and then obviously let the world create itself. And once you have loaded into the world, you can see I am in full survival mode here uh there is yeah full survival i can yeah do whatever can't fly or anything like that this is actual survival so now that you've created your world obviously i assume that most of you will have already have done this you're gonna want to exit minecraft and then you're gonna go and want to go you're going to want to go and head to a very specific website uh so the, the, it's linked in the description or you can just type in mcc tool chest and then it's this top link here, the one that says download. So just hit that and then you can press this to download it. Uh, I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it because I already have it. But yeah, you'd install it like any normal software on a Windows computer. Now, please be aware that you um, may need Visual Studio 2015 C++ thingy but most of you will already have this installed so it shouldn't be too much of a massive problem for you but once you've downloaded and installed it you're obviously going to want to open it so i'll do that it'll come up with this little screen here advertising who i'm assuming is the creator's twitter but yeah once you get here you're going to want to press file open and then select the world that you want to set spectator mode on. So I'm just going to choose the spectator tutorial world. This software is capable of doing so much more things. Uh, but th for example, this map button will allow you to reset chunks in your world. There's also a bunch of other stuff that you can do with it. But I mostly use this for spectator mode and uh, pruning chunks. 
But anyway, spectator mode, that's what we're doing in today's video, so I should probably talk about that. So what you're going to want to press is this button here to expand the player tab. Now there's only one player that's joined, and that's me. So you, the person, the host, essentially, of the world will be called local player. Now, I'm going to assume that you have two accounts or more, and that's why you want to put like one of them as a camera account and one of them as your main survival account. Now, you're going to have to figure out which account uh, is which, because there'll be a bunch of like accounts down here, each with different UUIDs. You're going to have to figure out which one is which. So the way to do that is to click on each one and then press this button here and it will open up the player's inventory. Now if you put something in the inventory of the spectator account or the one that you want to be the spectator account then it'll be a lot easier to identify over here in world edit. But yeah, we're just doing it to the local player so I'm just going to do this. I, I don't need to go through that entire process. So then what you're going to want to do is scroll down until you see the um, line that says player game mode. Double click this. Is it double click? Yes, it is. And then change this value from five to three. Hit OK. And then super important, make sure you press this save button up here. We can now close world edit or MCC tool chest. You don't need it. Now we're going to open back up Minecraft. So now that Minecraft is open, we will just load into the world. Um, and when it loads, you should see I am in spectator mode. So yeah, here we are. I'm in spectator mode uh, and it may not look like it. If you look at my hotbar, it still says I'm in survival, but I can glide through blocks. And this is now where I show you the downsides of using this, like, well, not really downsides, because you can overcome, but the problems of using this. The first one is, you're in survival, which, well, you're in survival, but also in spectator. Now, there's no reason why you couldn't uh, set yourself in, like, creative or something. But the way that I would actually recommend doing this is either setting yourself to adventure before going into this method, but I'm not actually sure if that works. I haven't tested if that works, so that's kind of just a guess. But the way I would recommend doing it is actually going up here and changing this thing next to your name and switching it over to visitor. This will mean that you can't break blocks. Now, there is still another problem. So just whilst I'm showing this, I'm going to go back into operator. And we are unfortunately going to have to turn cheats on to do this uh, next fix because you may have noticed is that I'm not invisible. Now for most of you I don't know if that's actually going to be a massive problem for you um, but yeah you do need cheats on to for my method at least of not going invisible because what you're going to need is a command block which obviously we get by doing the command give at s and then command block. Then if you simply press it down and the, do the command effect and then whatever your name is, so the alien doctor and then invisibility, I'm not sure if I spelled that right. Okay, so yeah, here we go. Now there's, <laughs> there's the correct spelling of invisibility. So you're going to want to put this command effect uh, and then your username, invisibility, 999255. Then select this to uh, leave that as unconditional, select this one as uh, repeat, and this one as always active. What this will do is it will make you actually invisible. Now you may notice that my chat is being really spammed right now, and the easiest way to fix that is to do slash game rule, do, or I, is it what, command block output, set that to false. As you can see, those chat messages are going to go away eventually. There we go. So now the chat messages are going away and we are not constantly seeing the command block output. So yeah, if you have this command block like really far down in your world or something, along with you set into visitor, then it will be like you're properly in spectator mode, which is pretty nice. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I, I pressed F5, but you can't really see me. Obviously, you will be able to see particles, but I can't really help that. Uh, there probably is another method of making you invisible. However, this is the one I recommend. But yeah, I do hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I literally only just learned about this, uh, and I'm certainly going to be using it in Alien Craft a lot more now because it means that we can have super easy camera counts. Um, which is super nice. But yeah, anyway, thank you. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below or join my Discord where I will help you there as well. Thanks for watching, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll see you later. Bye.